everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com, and today I have a fun pop-up stand card um, featuring one of our new suites that is on early release. Um, so hopefully you can see this. This card actually stands up by itself, um, but folds and fits in a regular envelope. So it is a very fun um, way to present a card. Um, so I wanted to show you that. We are going to be using the Ornate Garden uh, Suite. This suite is available this month. It will be coming out in our new catalog in June, um, but you can get it now. So let me show you some of those beautiful products um, that come with it. It's a huge suite, but you can order the different bundles and products individually, however you'd like. This is one of the stamp sets. This is called Ornate Thanks. I love it because the sentiments here are so nice and large, and then you have a bunch of other smaller pieces um, to mix and match. And... Um, it just you have so many options. I absolutely love it. And then that coordinates. There are some dies that go with this. Um, there are ornate border dies. So these are beautiful dies to make nice borders. You have some floral images as well. There are also um, let me see. I want to make sure I give you the right name. Ornate layers dies. So look at these. These are gorgeous and so detailed um, for your cards. Beautiful. Let me grab the Designer Series paper. This is gorgeous as well. And there is a um, new in color in this Designer Series paper, so that's a little bit of a hint. Um, you have double-sided 12 by 12. This one is foiled. Here you have some white with gold foiling. This is mint macaron and gold. You have that side. Look at the beautiful... And this is some more gold. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there are also some gilded um, gems that go with that in gold. There is a ribbon combo pack of gorgeous ribbon that's so easy to tie and create bows. Um, so we are going to use some of this on today's project. Um, a couple items actually. So let's go ahead and jump in. So for our base, um, for our pop-up stand card. We are using a piece of mint macaron. This is four and a quarter by 11. We're going to do a bunch of scoring on this. Um, we are also using a piece of terracotta tile. This is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. We have a piece of whisper white that is three by five. This is going to be for our sentiment or wherever you want to write. And then I have a few pieces of the ornate um, designer series paper. So we have two that are cut um, one and a half by four, and then we have two that are cut three quarters by four, and that's going to be um, to decorate our base. And then we'll also use one of our medium, you know, whisper white envelopes for this. Okay, so let me grab my um, trimmer. We're going to pull out our arm here and we're going to do our scoring. So we are going to, let me make some room here. I'm getting caught up. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, we are going to score at one, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, five and a half, uh, seven and a quarter, eight and a quarter, and ten. Okay, and then let me just fold in my arm here. We're going to make one little cut. So I know it might be hard to see. Um, hopefully you can see this is kind of our middle score line. That is the one that we are going to cut um, to fit our card in. So I am going to position that right inside um, my blade. Um, here I'm going to let me actually grab my blade you want to cut in about a half an inch and so we have on our trimmer you can see your your measurements here I'm going to drop that blade at a half an inch on that score line and I'm going to come down to about the other end half inch okay so now you can see we have that slit all right now let's go ahead and do our burnishing. So let's and just be careful with that one that you've cut. 
because um, you don't want to tear it. Okay, so just be gentle with that one. Let me see my other score line. I have some natural light coming in here today, so it's kind of throwing my eyes a bit. But I'm grateful for the sunshine today. It was so dreary. Okay, so now you can see this is how this is going to work. We're basically folding that up, um, and this is our slit, and that's where our piece is going to go. So let's go ahead, before we adhere everything, do our stamping and our um, some of our putting together. Um, all right, so with our Whisper White, let's see, do I want to go with terracotta tile again? I think I do. I think we will. All right, I am stamping. Just wanted to say thanks. And just remember now, with our um, insert here, you're going to lose about an inch at the bottom. So stay away from, from that. You can do some more stamping. I left mine um, open because I plan to write on here. Um, but if you just wanted to do more decorating there, you definitely could. Okay, so let's... I uh, just wanted to say thanks. I love this set. I just love all of the different options that you have for sentiments. Beautiful. Okay. Close up that ink pad. Let's get our multi-purpose glue. Why is this? Not? I know there's glue in here. Come on. There we go. So you can um, order all of these products now and have them early and get to play with them before the new catalog comes. Um, you can also find all of the re um, tiring product lists um, on my blog. I have posted that um, at theirishscrapper.com. So many good things happening right now. Lots of deals on the clearance rack. Okay, let's straighten that out. Looks good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually feed this through that slot. And then I am going to see, this is going to connect here. Okay, so I fed it through the slot. I'm going to... Um, put some adhesive on here. You just want to make sure you're, you're straight. Whatever is the easiest way here for you to... Might be... Some might not want to leave it in their slot, which you could do as well. You could take it out, but I like to have mine in there. Okay. All right, so now, yeah, now you can see that's stuck on the one side, so we just need adhesive now on this flap here. So I'm going to put, and I would use, you know, a stronger adhesive. You can use your um, tear and tape if you'd like. I'm just going to line this up. Give that a nice press in there. My fingers. Okay, so now you can see. And as you move that more, it'll kind of loosen up. But there you go, you already have your, your stand-up card. Okay, so now let's go ahead and grab our um, designer series paper pieces. I'm going to use one of the three-quarter inch uh, pieces here on the front. I actually use my multi-purpose glue so I have a little bit more wiggle room. This helps it really kind of pop adding some of the paper and you could actually even add you know another sentiment um, to this front part for sure. Like the so grateful um, in this ornate thanks would fit there. Um, you could add any more, any of these others, um, or even right there if you wanted. It's a nice size to do that. Okay. 
All right, one more piece. Okay, and I just want to, yeah, this is where I cut it. So my pattern is staying consistent, um, matching up from here to here, um, which I love as well. Okay, so there you go. There you have your, your stand-up card already, and you just fold that. Now with our medium size envelope, you can see here it does fit. Um, I am actually going to use um, one of the daisies from the Daisy Lane stamp set, and we're just going to stamp one of those in the terracotta tile um, right onto the corner of our envelope, just to have it be a little colorful and coordinate um, with the project inside. So isn't that fun? I love this. I love this project. I think it's super cute. You can do so many different things. It'd be great for a birthday. Um, you know, since we are all under stay-at-home orders and quarantined, what better way to um, let somebody know you're thinking of them or wish them a happy birthday than with a handmade card. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's project. You can find a full supply list in the description of this video. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.